Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your January 2019 general reading. So it's a general read, it will not resonate with every Cancer, um, Cancer moon, Sun, Moon, Rising. If it does resonate, that's a beautiful thing. Leave a comment below, even if it just says, oh, it resonated, or it didn't. I'm fine with that too. Uh, so let's pull a butterfly oracle card to start the reading off. Okay, so I would firstly like to say, uh, Happy New Year. Um, this is the year of creating what you want. The Empress. Abundance. Creating from the ground up. You've been working toward this. You know? So this is that year. Um, also, um, it's about family. Uh, home life. You know, so motherhood. Sisterhood. Uh, um, creating the change you want. You know? Alright. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, off camera. So I've used two separate decks. The shuffle very, um, very well. The star card fell out in both decks. Uh, the strength card in both decks. Um, Something to do, so maybe you guys are dealing with um, Leo, Aquarius. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. Um, Eight of Cups also. Some of you could be moving. Move, like, you know, literally moving or figuratively moving away from. You know. So, let's see. What do you have to tell Cancer? And the butterfly or True, accurate messages. The Cancer Collective. New career retirement came out for you guys some of you are retiring an old way of earned income of gaining earned income um, maybe putting less hours in and still maintaining the same financial status so, I'm here to take two all right religion and spirituality that may be the new career that some of you are embarking on let's see keep the faith be true to you all right good advice cards keep the faith and be true to you did have the star card some of you um your wish fulfilled is to move move away from okay so the star the eight of cups and strength cards all right so let's get started what's the general energy for cancer General energy for cancer, Lord God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For the general energy for cancer. Wow, then you come right out the gate. The chariot card. Divinity. Um, marrying the light and the dark. Getting in control of the lesser and the more. The, the good and the bad. Uh, the sun and the moon you know what you do in the open what you do in the close hmm. having control getting in control of a situation moving forward also could be actually moving could be traveling could just be moving let's see okay these cards fell out wow ten of earth the reverse. None of these cards should be reversed. So this is definitely significant. Five of fire. Woo, five of air. Okay, so change here. Change within a, a particular dynamic, a long standing institution in your life. This could be your job. You could be with a big corporation. There's change happening here. This could be the institution of marriage. This could be the institutions that we create in and around ourselves. Our mental, the mental institutions that we create within ourselves, and how how uh, we we think and what what triggers us and what we go to in regards to the those mental institutions. This could also some of you. 
could be uh, questioning your your faith. I think we had keep the faith. Some of you could be looking into what's different. Maybe some esoteric work or esoteric knowledge. There's conflict and change within a dynamic. Something long standing, ten of earth. You're at the end here. You know that the wheel is now turning. The wheel of fortune is turning now. And it looks like it's bringing about a lot of change. Let's see what this is in regards to. If this is love or it's career. Nine of earth, you're in separation. Uh, you also, you may be seeking uh, wisdom, clarity, truth. You have separated yourself from. Okay. And um, you, you're trying to gain clarity by looking at old experience. Also speaking to someone who has a sense of expertise. Wow. Two of cups. If it's if it's faith based, then it's everything I just said. If it's love, you're in separation from the two of water. Someone that either you felt that there was an, a mutually beneficial relationship. It, it was mutually beneficial to offer your cup and them offer their cup. You're not. You guys aren't talking right now. Somebody's already in something that is upside down. Wow. The fool definitely could be dealing with Aries, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. I mean, anybody. You can have Virgo in your chart. Definitely wanting to chart a new path, a new development, whether that's faith based or that's relationship or career based uh, there's so many conflicting there's so many so many conflicting ideas within yourself and it may be the root of that may have been the advice of so many different people cancer sometimes can do that you know, ask everybody what they think about a situation that cancer should be making a decision on Five of air. Somebody may be jealous. There may be heavy argument. Something cropped up from the past um, and interfere. This could be friends, family, uh, another person. Let's see, but it looks like Cancer is wanting to be like the fool and start over. You, the ten, ten of earth. This ten of earth is in the reverse. So this says yes. I'm willing to lay this down because it no longer suits me, no longer fits me. I'm not happy. Change needs to happen. I know it. I'm allowing the will to come in. Maybe not so abruptly. I'm still trying to control it, the chariot card. Uh, but the will of fortune, spirit needs to come in, maybe in help here. All right. Wow. And then the ten of fire. Lots of the culmination of the ending. There is, it gets no worse. It gets no, it doesn't get any tiresome, you know, any more tiresome than this. Some of you, it's just about a move. It's about finding um, some transaction here that is, is perfect for you. Even perfect timing. Um, for some of you, ten of fire. This is a laying down of and allowing a situation to change. What is this about for cancer? Is this love? Well, I mean, it could be both love. This could be career. The devil. Hmm. Cancer's fearful. Wow. Fearful that they may not get what they hope and wish for. Someone that they or something that they're in separation from. 
or with separation with or from this is also a cancer who is feeling like did I manifest do I am I wanting what is not good for me am I wanting a particular situation person that is not good for me this is a cancer asking themselves that question also this is a person hoping, wishing, longing for. You can't hope, wish, long for something that's right there in front of you. So we know that there is separation from. Um, okay, give us a few more and I'm going to close this up. The world. Wow. This could be a fixed sign. Aquarius, Gemini. Excuse me. Aquar you could be dealing with a Gemini. Somewhere. Where? Um, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Two of ours. This is a person that's kind of of two different minds about a situation, two different hearts, or if you have two different. Um, am I hoping and wishing for the wrong thing? Is the door closed on this person? Is the door closed? Or could I reopen this? Two of Earth. This love affair. This business relationship that maybe not be might not be so favorable. Patience. Temperance. Sagittarius. says that spirit is working with you the angel the archangel I think that's Michael protecting us a, a spiritual union perfect timing yeah wait for maybe Gemini Libra Aquarius this is definitely somebody feeling like am I manifest do I want the wrong person Am I stuck in a situation with the wrong person? Somebody looking at what time, energy, effort they have invested and in trying to gain or take stock of by what, gain control by taking stock of the seven of pentacles that you put over here with this situation or that person. Uh, is it going to manifest into the ten of pentacles upright? Um, if not, I need to get in control of this by maybe reducing it to um, the Ace of Pentacles, starting over, starting anew. This is this is evaluation and stop. All right, what's the advice for Cancer? Advice cards for Cancer. What should Cancer do? Seven of Wands, you get three sevens now. Divinity, divine timing with patience. Gain control by way of standing your ground in regards to what you believe and what you want. Now, the world, Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Will of Fortune. Five of Pentacles under the deck. Okay, so this is a cancer who wants to communicate with a particular person someone who they feel that they're in love with or could give love to and receive that in return six of swords someone who they have made the decision the choice to have peace and serenity with someone who may be a mother who has 
either one child could be more don't don't beat me up um someone who cancer feels like their fortune their life destiny is wrapped up in a particular this particular someone cancer may be spying on someone or someone spying on cancer stand your ground in regards to a closing of a cycle maybe with a fixed sign if not the closing of a cycle stand your ground fight for an old way of doing things being uh being done away with uh, some of you intuitively know that this has come full circle and that you you have to either move away from maybe an air sign gemini libra aquarius while also spying on an air sign gemini libra aquarius um well, I also feeling like your fortune is wrapped up in maybe another air sign. Gosh, this is crazy. Or don't get too fixed in the signs. Feeling like your fortune is wrapped up in or with someone. Feeling shut out because once again, you are not in communication with this person. Feeling like there's no hope. There's lack of hope, confidence in a particular uh, relationship because you feel like it's closed what does this say am do i want am i wishing hoping longing for a person that is wrong for me is this cycle closed some of you intuitively instinctually know that it, it may not be you're waiting for the perfect time to either communicate. Okay. Cancer. Then some of you, you know, go back to the beginning of the reading. This is faith based for some of you. That may be the new career. It's faith based. Cancer, if you feel like this reading resonated with you for you, please. Um, Go ahead. I don't no extended readings this month. Just offering um, a ten dollar one question four cards pull reading. So you get four cards, one question. Okay. So um, for ten dollars. So take advantage of that. Go over to the website, book that, or send me an email, um, and we can get that handled for you. Um, I, I wish the best year for cancer. It looks like. There's, a, there's an element of um, gaining control for some of the Cancerians. Um, somebody wants to start something back up. You know, it was closed. Or they thought it was closed. It was done. It's coming back around, okay? All right. Be true to you. Um, keep the faith, okay? All right. Take care, Cancer. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Bye.